Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele. This is your Cornerstone Community Church Service for September the 22nd. Father, thank you today for this wonderful day. This is your day, and we're going to rejoice and be glad. Now, Lord, we ask your blessing upon our time together and this wonderful service. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I want to give you a personal invitation to our in-person service that will be happening today at 11 a.m. We meet at Cornerstone Hall. That's number 6 Tache Street in St. Albert. Our doors open at 1045 and our service starts at 11 a.m. Praise is rising. Eyes are turning to you. We turn to
that is a great place to find ourselves today in singing unto the Lord and just reminding ourselves and others today about the goodness of God. Well, it's time for us to go to, of course, the Word of God. And today we're looking at a wonderful portion of Scripture. And it is, of course, Isaiah 40, 31. There the Lord says, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So here is the Lord reminding through Isaiah. Of course, he says, number one, do not fear, for I am with you. So He's addressing a common thing that every one of us from time to time faces. Now, fear, of course, is actually a concern about the unknown. You are encountering an unknown variable, a unknown situation, and you have one of two responses. You either fight or you flight. And of course, most of us, when we have that moment of fear, we can become paralyzed. And in that moment, we can freeze or we can also flee or we can fight. That is usually our response. Well, the Lord says in those times of fear, he says, I want you to know that I am with you. Isn't it great to know that no matter where we find ourselves today, in whatever situation we find ourselves, we are not alone. Also as well, Paul reminds us in 2 Timothy 1.7 that God has not given us a spirit of fear. So when that fear comes upon you, it has basically three sources. Number one, the enemy is trying to bring it upon you. Secondly, the world is trying to intimidate you or try to shake you up. Or thirdly, it is your own natural response to an unknown situation. Either way, you don't have to be submitting. Also as well, Paul points out that the answer is, of course, a spiritual answer. And that is also a divine answer. When that spirit, which is, of course, has a spiritual component to it, comes upon you, you and I can resist it, of course, in the uh, spiritual way. We know that the Lord is with us. That gives us assurance. And so we have, of course, and responding to the love of God. He says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. So here is Paul reminding us that we have love, that wonderful love that is all-encompassing. It is a communicated attribute of God given to us so that we will not be afraid. And it was John who said, perfect love casts out all fear. The second attribute that comes with us, of course, is power. Once you know that you are loved by God, secondly, that God is with you, it will, of course, give you power over it. But also as well, there's that divine uh, component, which is the Holy Spirit. And of course, he gives us resurrection power. That same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in us, and he will quicken our mortal body. And because of that, we have soundness of mind. So here is Isaiah and Paul gathering together, bringing a complete picture about the fact that we do not fear for the Lord is with us. We don't have to be dismayed. We don't have to be confused. We don't have to be upset or unsettled over the situation because the Lord, he says, do not be seen, for I am your God. Isn't it great to know that we don't have to be afraid because the Lord is with us and we don't have to be in confusion. And remember, the author of confusion is the enemy because James said, God is not the author of confusion. So we know that because the Lord is with us. He is, of course, our God. He is the one who is walking beside us. He is the one encompassing us today because the simple fact is we need it. You are not alone. Back in 1977, we uh, did a cantata called The Apostle. And in that particular uh, cantata, I had the privilege of singing a song, 
you are not alone. And isn't it great to know that you and I are walking not only in this world with divine power, but also divine presence. And that is absolutely. And it, it just encourages us to make sure that our connection with God is tight and also as well secure and also as well powerful. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Isn't that great thing? He says, I will strengthen you and I will help you. Again, we are reminded that we have when the Lord is our God, he strengthens us and he helps us. Isn't that wonderful to know that you and I have, of course, that wonderful component where Paul says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He will help us. That means that he will come alongside. Jesus in the upper room discourse reminded us that the comforter is going to come alongside. He is the divine advocate. He is the divine intercessor. He is the divine paraclete, the one who sustains us, the one who helps us, the one who comes alongside of us, the one who lifts us up and undergirds us in those times of confusion and where we feel like we are going to fall. He says, do not be dismayed for I'm, I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Well, that righteous right hand, of course, in the Old Testament meant the strength and also the power of God. God is going to uphold you. He's going to lift you up in those times that you need to be lifted up. He is going to, of course, give you supernatural strength. So you and I do not have to be afraid. We do not have to be dismayed. We do not have to be confused. The Lord has promised he's going to help us. The Lord has going to strengthen us. The Lord is going to uphold us with his righteous right hand. We have it all together. The Lord and our relationship is the perfect package to be able to face the chaos and confusion of this world. We are able to silence the urgent and the crisis and the busyness of life and just say, Lord, I know that today you are with me. And Father, I thank you for that wonderful reality today, that we are not alone, that Lord, whatever fear may come across our path today, there is a supernatural answer. There is help and strength. And Lord, we don't have to walk in confusion or be dismayed. Lord, you give us complete and total control in you. And Father, I thank you today. And I thank you that, Lord, this is a reality and a promise today from the Word of God. This particular promise, of course, is centuries old, and it is a wonderful promise that is as valuable today as it was when it was written by the hand of Isaiah. Now, Lord, we also have that time and place of prayer where we pray for you. So whether your need is physical, spiritual, emotional, intellectual, financial, or family, I want you to know that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, beyond what we're able to ask or even imagine. Also as well today, I want you to know that right now that our God can supply every need according to his riches and glory, and he is your healer. So Lord, today, whether it is provision or healing, this is that moment where, Lord, you are going to, of course, bring that wonderful answer and victory right now. Lord, we thank you that you are the one that is healing us and you are the one that's providing. Even as we get closer to the end of the month, Lord, we're looking forward to both your healing, not just for ourselves, but our family and friends as well, and those that we would come across. And we're looking forward to your provision. And we ask all of these things in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, let's sing that song, How Great Is Our God. The splendor of the King.
Well, I just want to thank you so much for joining me today. And I would like to give you a personal invitation to our in-person service that will be happening today at 11 a.m. Our doors open at 1045. Our service starts at 11 a.m. And we meet at Cornerstone Hall. That's number 6 Tache Street in St. Albert. And we would love to have you join us if you happen to be in St. Albert or the greater Edmonton area. And now, Lord, we thank you today for this wonderful opportunity to spend time together. We ask your blessing upon those who have watched this time and bless each one, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.